this is so heavy. <laughs> Mary with Reviewer's Diary with, oh my goodness, an alcohol. <laughs> when I got this, I forgot what I ordered and I was like, why does that weigh a ton? It does really weigh a ton. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but I, you'll see why it weighs so much momentarily. This is not a huge haul. I checked all the products that I ordered to see if they were cruelty free or not. Much to my chagrin, they sent me a package that had a cruelty free sample and a totally not cruelty free thing. Benefit is unabashedly not cruelty free. Not even making an effort. Um, so <laughs> yeah, so I won't be using this. This will actually be a giveaway in a swap. I'll just put it in, in a little baggie and give it to somebody. So I ordered a few things that are going to definitely be helpful for my skin. I've been having like some really bad dry skin issues, um, especially since I try so many different products, but I don't want to stop trying things. Um, but I do have some skin issues, but I'm going to start with the fun stuff first. Fun thing. I ordered the travel size um, primer water from Smashbox. Smashbox for years I thought was not cruelty free and I found out that they are, thank God, because I have this palette. I'll let you just show you that palette. I have a palette that I bought when I was in Florida at the outlet and um, <laughs> it is amazing. Um, amazingly beautiful. So I thought I cannot use that. Oh, these are not cruelty free. And then I found out that PETA and Paula's Choice both said that they, that this company is cruelty free. Yeah, okay, maybe it's parent company, it's not. But I, my rule of thumb is, number one, everything, every cosmetic is going to be eventually owned by a parent company that, because big companies swallow up smaller companies, by a parent company that's not cruelty free. However, if they are like a lot of these cosmetic companies, they say, okay, we'll go for the, you acquiring us, but we're going to remain cruelty free and we're not going to sell in China. Smashbox. Exactly like that. NYX, same thing. Now we just have to see if, you know, who else is going to jump on the bandwagon because the cosmetic companies are starting to feel the pressure. So hopefully we can bring more and more pressure. To bear but anyway um so i have this i ordered that because i thought ah oh, i hear such good things about it i've got to try that now if it wasn't cruelty free i wouldn't have ordered it i'm just gonna go right to this mask now um boots is cruelty free there's a whole video of me unboxing boots um and I didn't order this at that time because I ordered so much stuff that I just felt kind of funny about it. So um, I ordered this because my skin has been suffering. A couple days ago I had to put on this redness relief cream that I have from Medicel and I'm not sure if they're cruelty free. I can't even find information on them. I have to write to the company but um, I got this because I thought that as a moisturizing mask that this might help when I have those issues with my skin. I got an EcoTools Conjac sponge, <laughs> Conjac, Conjac, whatever. Um, I got this sponge and um, we're really looking forward to using it. It's very hard, but I guess it gets soft when you wet it. And this is the one made for sensitive skin. EcoTools is a cruelty-free company. Like I said, I checked all of these companies out before I placed my order. Um, Petty Scrub and Spongibles and found that they are cruelty free. They actually have, actually have a, um, I believe it's a PETA bunny on their website. Um, so this, these are cruelty free. Now I already have one that's like five washes. This looks like it might be two sponges, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, it's, there's a little excess packaging going on here. So I'll have to open these and see. But these are both rated as 20 plus, And they're for washing and exfoliating your feet. Four in one, cleanse, exfoliate, massage, moisturize with glycerin, olive oil, shea butter, and tea tree oil. Uh, 
and it says um, everything you need to soften your feet are rough tired blah 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 directions um, completely wet and softened to release ingredients use the soft side to cleanse flip over to the scruffy side to exfoliate and it just and it also says here never tested on animals um, so let's see I think the packaging is a bit top heavy here it is look at all that space excess pa packaging makes me crazy um, so the actual petty sponge ends right about here <laughs> From the same company, I got a different um, scent. This one is the one with lavender tea tree oil. This has chamomile in it. Um, yeah, lavender and chamomile. I'm gonna start first with the masks. Now, before I bought more Freeman, I did verify Freeman is a cruelty-free company. Thank goodness, because I have a peel-off mask that I really like, and I really like these masks a lot. Um, they're all over Ulta, all different flavors and, well, flavors, all different scents and varieties. What I got was the Deep Cleanse and Purify Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask. I keep looking for a mask that's going to be as nice as the Nux mask that I have. Oh, I wish Nux was cruelty free. So I keep looking for something that's going to feel that way, make my skin glow as much as that one does, and um, maybe one of these will do that. Um, this one is Golden Green Brightening Mask, and it hydrates and brightens. This one sounded very moisturizing, which I need. Um, so I got this one kind of to like give my skin a little bit more of a glow and this one to hydrate and this one to hydrate. So I got actually, I'm a fool for masks. I love masks. I really love masks. Um, so <laughs> I got three of them. Now for the heavy thing. Oh my. Now the thing that was weighing this box down was Dr. Teal's. I bought three bags. I did verify Dr. Teal's is a cruelty-free company. <laughs> and I got two bags of this one. Um, the, can you tell I have like an issue with trying to get good sleep? <laughs> um, anyway, this one is with lavender and it is um, soak, soothe and sleep with lavender. Now, if you go to buy it on Amazon, you pay like an arm and a leg. This is one of those instances where something on Amazon, which normally a lot of things are cheaper, this is an instance where things are way more expensive. So this bag was very inexpensive. I think it was like $5 or $5.99 um, on Ulta, and it was like $12 on Amazon. Like, wh why? So anyway... I got two of these. Oh gosh. <laughs> and oh, I also have dry skin, and I thought that this one with the detoxify, energize, ginger, and clay would feel good on my skin. So, I have three bags of Dr. Chia's. Oh my gosh. I almost dropped the box. So I did get a lot of stuff, but none of it was like taken separately. None of it was expensive, except this was, I think, $16, um, which is not a lot, but for this size it is. Let me just show you before we depart. Here is the size of this primer water. Now the reason I got this, obviously, um, I've heard rave reviews, red rave reviews, I should say. But I didn't want to spend the big bucks on the big bottle, only to find out that, eh, you know, it was not good. Because not everything works as well for everyone as it may for others. So we'll have to wait and see, and I will definitely um, review this stuff. 
So, oh, <laughs> so that, that's been my <laughs> um, that's been my unboxing. <laughs> now I am in um, Project Pants, and I'm not on a no buy. I'm on a low buy. Um, so I try not to spend too much. And my birthday is coming. My birthday is right around the corner, so I can't put myself on a no buy when my birthday is in December and Christmas is in December, and so I just can't do that. What I'm trying to do though is do the wise things and do my research before I purchase stuff and make sure everything I get is cruelty free and this is, so I'm very happy. <laughs> So thank you for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary. Please give this video a thumbs up and please do subscribe. So thanks for watching. The next video that you'll see is going to be my empties video. So stay tuned.